Hello, dear students. In this lecture, uh, we will discuss Robertsonian translocation. Please refer to part one and part two uh, for uh, mechanism of translocation and for the introduction of translocation. So let us revise what we have done in part one and part two lectures of translocation. So what is translocation? Translocation is also called illegitimate crossing over and it involves crossing over between two pairs of non-homologous chromosomes. It is it was first of all observed in Enothera Lamarckiana by Hugo de Vries and it is also observed in Rohio and Tradescantia. The translocation is of three kinds simple reciprocal and Robertsonian translocation. Simple translocation happens when equal segments from non homologous chromosomes get translocated. Reciprocal when unequal segments get translocated. And Robertsonian translocation is a special kind of translocation which happens between acrocentric chromosomes and it is centric fusion of two acrocentric chromosomes which results in the formation of a very long chromosome uh, and one small fragment which is ultimately lost. Like uh, we have also seen this slide in uh, previous part 2 lecture of translocation. So here uh, in humans uh, Robertsonian translocation occur in 5 acrocentric chromosomes and these chromosomes are 13, 14, 15, 21 and 22. So the participating chromosomes break at their centromere and results in the formation of a very long chromosome and a small chromosome. Uh, so you can see here that this is one acrocentric chromosome and this is another acrocentric chromosome. Why they are acrocentric chromosome? Because they have one arm very long and the second arm very long and the second arm very short. So when translocation say happens between these two non-homologous chromosomes and so it results in two chromosomes one of the chromosome is very long and the other chromosome is very small so this type of translocation which happens between uh, two acrocentric chromosomes is called robertsonian translocation and this happens usually between these uh, chromosomes between chromosome 13 and 14 or 14 and 15 15 and 21 so uh, let us read this slide. We will read point by point. So the most frequent form of translocations are between chromosomes 13 four, and 14, between 13 and 21 and between 21 and 22. So this is the translocations are mostly observed between these three pairs of chromosomes 13 and 14, 13 and 21 and 21 and 22. Now the Robertsonian translo uh, uh, translocations are of two kinds, balanced and unbalanced. So the point two says, in balanced form, a Robertsonian translocation takes place between two acrocentric chromosomes and results in no problems for the person carrying it. So balanced form of translocation balances the number of genes. So there is no problem for the person who carries balanced form of translocation. Now the third point is that in unbalanced form Robertsonian translocation produces chromosome imbalance and causes syndromes of multiple malformations and mental retardation. So in unbalanced form uh, because it is unbalanced so uh, that, uh, it results in many syndromes. We will see later. So in fourth point, Robertsonian translocation between chromosome and 13 and 14. So when transmitted in unbalanced form may lead to trisomy of 13 and it leads to uh, trisomy 13 which is also called Patau syndrome. 
So Patau syndrome is, we know that it is trisomy of 13 chromosome and it is because of Robert, Robertsonian translocation between 13 and 14. Now the last point, fifth point says in Robertsonian translocations between 14 and uh, 21 and between 21 and 22 may result in trisomy of 21st in Down syndrome. So we, we will see how it happens in next few slides. Please refer peers for this picture. Now this is a karyotype of a person who is suffering from uh, trans uh, for fam suffering from familial Down syndrome. And if you see in this picture, uh, the chromosome, a part of chromosome number 21, has translocated to chromosome 14. So this pro chromosome 14, they have shown it with an arrow that this has a part of long arm of chromosome 21 translocated on uh, 14. So this person having this uh, karyotype suffers from familial Down syndrome. Why? Because here there will be three copies of uh, 21st long arm chromosome. So the caption says the translocation of chromosome 21 onto another chromosome which results in familial Down syndrome and here the long arm of chromosome 21 is attached to chromosome 14. So this karyotype is a trans uh, from a translocation carrier who is phenotypically normal but is at increased risk for producing now, children with Down this syndrome. is if you see this is trisomy of 21st chromosome which is your primary down syndrome where the 21st chromosome is in triplicate condition so this down syndrome is different from the down syndrome which we have discussed just now because the first picture shows trisomy of 21st chromosome which is primary down syndrome is caused by the presence of three copies of 21 chromosome so but the second picture says that the translocation of chromosome 21 into another chromosome results in familial down syndrome so the familial down syndrome happens because of the uh, translocation of the 21st chromosome on the 14th chromosome so we have discussed that here the long arm of 21 chromosome it is attached to the 14th chromosome and uh, this slide is just to differentiate between the primary down syndrome and the familial down syndrome so the familial down syndrome is because of translocation while the primary down syndrome is because of three copies of 21st chromosome in uh, the second picture also the trisomy is happening but it is but it is happening on the uh, this 14th chromosome because of translocation of 21st chromosome and please read peers uh, to uh, if you want details how this happens so these pictures are from peers. So Rob Robertsonian translocation carriers are asymptomatic but often produce unbalanced gametes which can result in monosomic or trisomic zygotes. The second point is of the possible segregants monosomy 14, trisomy 14 and monosomy 21 are lethal. So actually we have just seen in the previous slide that chromosome 21 is not a bivalent now. It has one uh, chromosome less. So they will be monosomics. So monosomics can be because of one chromosome number less um, in 14th chromosome or they can be trisomic because of one extra chromosome number 14. So these uh, and monosomics 21 means that the one copy of 21 first chromosome is less so they are lethal the remaining possibilities are 
uh, a child with normal chromosome a child with balanced translocation and a child with down syndrome due to unbalanced form of translocation causing uh, trisomy 21 so a parent who is a carrier for a robertsonian translocation involving chromosome 21 therefore has a high risk of having a child affected with down syndrome and uh, compared with low reoccurrence in regular trisomy 21 down syndrome which is due to an error in cell division and has a re recurrence risk of about 1 in 100 please read peers uh, to for uh, details of these points this is beyond the sp scope of our syllabus which we have in nap let us try to understand this picture so in this picture uh, what you can see that this is a person uh, and this person is suffering from familiar down syndrome so the red chromosomes this is one homologous pair of 14 on which the 21st long arm of 21st chromosome has translocated so the other 21st chromosome is alone it is not a bivalent because the other arm of the uh, the other chromosome has tr translocated on the uh, 14th chromosome so this is a robertsonian transloc carrier because uh, uh, this cell uh, is representing a robertsonian carrier so what are the three possibilities uh, after meiosis uh, how the gametes are formed so these these are the three possibilities first possibility is that one of the gametes has 14th and 21st chromosome and the second gamete has a translocated one. Now the second possibility has that uh, the two gametes which are formed are like this where one uh, is translocated chromosome and the other one is normal and the second gamete is alone with 21 chromosome and this is the third possibility that first is 14th chromosome first chromosome has first uh, gamete has 14th chromosome and the second gamete has translocated and the 21st chromosome when these three kinds of gametes they fertilized with a person having normal gamete so suppose this is a person and it has normal gamete with 114 and 121 chromosome 21st chromosome so when how the progenies are formed now so the progenies are formed and the zygotes are formed here they are represented here so you can see that uh, when the first kind of gamete from the first kind of gamete for fertilizers with the normal gametes so what are the progenies which are produced normal and a balanced carrier why a balanced carrier because it has at least balanced genes then the pink one shows the trisomy so the the other two progenies you can see that why this this is a trisomy of 14th chromosome because you can see that there are three copies of 14th chromosome and 21st is normal because it is only two copies one is uh, on the translocated part and the second is here shown below and the fourth progeny is monosomic because it is one shot of 14th chromosome fifth progeny is monosomics due to one shot uh, one less 21 chromosome and the last is familial down syndrome because the third copy is present on the 14th chromosome the third copy of 21st chromosome so this is how we represent a familial down syndrome uh, how the translocate it has resulted due to Translocation down syndrome when chromosome 21 gets attached to 14 and the individual has three copies of genes found on a large segment of chromosome 21 therefore they exhibit the characteristics of down syndrome so this is different from primary down syndrome so thank you students we will discuss some more topics of translocation like position effect and cancer associated with translocation in last part of this lecture 4. Thank you.